Drinking on the job is typically frowned upon. All right, one down. But not at this workplace. Only just begun. Here at this Airbnb in downtown Manhattan, while the crew is setting up and the lights are being adjusted, this host and this comedian are having a drink. And then another drink. And, well, you get the point. Equipped with plenty of alcohol, a breathalyzer, an oxygen tank, and a medic, we're on the set of Drunk History. Microphone! It's the hit Comedy Central show, whose premise involves an inebriated narrator telling historical stories, reenacted by famous actors and comedians who are completely sober. I'm gonna bloody deal with these laws. Lip syncing to their drunken counterparts. He painted this plate. He painted this painting. He painted this plate. He painted this painting of Lisa the Gioconda in Florence. The drunk element of the show is just the unpredictability. So sometimes it's a, oh, hi, Jack. <laughs> Whoa, it's my old boss, Jack. The unpredictable happens. Oh. The ever-changing cast of characters has drawn stars ranging from Will Ferrell. I'm just into preserving the union. To Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendes. I am my cap. Had just settled our brains. To even Oscar-winning stars like Octavia Spencer. Whoever's down to help the union, just let me know. So the first time I've ever allowed anyone to come see how we shoot Drunk History. Derek Waters is the host and co-creator of the show that originally started out as a web series. So you've been doing this now for multiple seasons. Yes. How did you come up with this? It started in 2009 as just a one-time idea. It was based off a friend of mine, Jake Johnson, who is on The New Girl. He was drunk telling me the story of Otis Redding. Derek and his co-creator and director, Jeremy Connor, enlisted their friend, actor Mark Gagliardi. Derek called me up. He said, I want to do something like the History Channel does, where you talk about a thing and then we uh, reenact it. And I said, great. And he went, oh, I want you to be really, really drunk when you do it. He was the one that I went to and said, what's a moment in history that you feel more people need to know about? And he said, Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. Today we're going to talk about Alexander Hamilton. How far in did you stop remembering what was going on? I remember moving from a chair to the couch. After that, everything is a little hazy. The guys thought it would be a one-time video until Jeremy's former boss, Jack Black, saw it. I was Jack's assistant at the time, and I showed it to him. He was like, oh my god, I want to do one. And we did the Ben Franklin one, and then all of a sudden now we were doing a series. Five seasons later, the show comes full circle tonight with Mark as narrator once again. How do you choose which stories? We have a great team of researchers that just dig for those stories that were hidden in history books and just feel like this is our secret job, is like finding those stories that make us go, why weren't we taught that in school? Season five, my friend. Congratulations. After a few more drinks, Mark is ready to tell his story. I'm Mark Gagliardi, and we're here to talk about and the today heist. we're going to be talking about... Hi, I'm Mark Gagliardi. Hello. Well, almost. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark Gagliardi, and today we're going to talk about the Mona Lisa heist. Hey. hey! It isn't too long before things start oh. to take a turn. Mark's getting some oxygen right now. Um, I'm not sure if it's... We've definitely accelerated things a little bit. When energy's a little low from someone after drinking, just like 10 minutes with this oxygen mask, and it's like Gloria Stefan coming out from the dark sun. He wasn't lying. I feel like I should apologize because I'm drunk, but this is how the show works. Vincenzo Peruccia has just stolen the Mona Lisa. These immortal words will eventually make their way across the country into the mouth of Jack Black. Of Lisa. The Gioconda in Florence. You do have to kind of memorize the lines because your lips have to go exactly along. Lip syncing is not as easy as it looks. You know, you gotta, there's an art to it. There's definitely a, a silent artistry involved. Okay, ready, act. action. It's a different kind of acting skill. So you're playing the scene based on a drunken narrator's perspective. Uh, but I never play it drunk, you know. 
I always try to play it as straight as possible, taking it real seriously, as if this is really the way the history went down. You shoot for so many hours to create five minutes of content. And it's really because half of the time, it's just 90% of the time, it's just wrangling someone to tell the story. And in New York, distractions were at an all-time high. Some people in history you don't necessarily see as humans. Exactly, yeah. We see them as almost biblical and like, yeah, fables, but they're, they're all real. That's secretly the goal of the show is humanizing everybody, including people that are really drunk. I love you. I love you. For Nightline, I'm Rebecca Jarvis, getting my drunk history lesson in we New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.